good morning everyone and welcome back to our online class so uh, i have completed three chapters for your science right so uh, i don't think that the revision for these three chapters are needed because i have explained you in a very simple language that you can understand very properly unless and until you see the videos okay if you have not seen the videos then it is very sorry to say that you have understood nothing okay but if you have seen the video okay if you have seen the videos previous videos that chapter 1 to 3 videos you can know very well the chapters inside also and question answers also all whatever the short answers long answers questions are there okay so <coughs> for the revision what to say living and non living thing living means what those creatures or those things which have life in them which can move from one place to another which breathes which uh, eat food which have a sense that they grow they move by their own they eat food all right these are known as the features of living things and non living things they do not breathe they do not move on their own they do not grow they do not need any kind of food as well as do not feel and reproduce all right then the features of uh, living things are living things breathe living things move living things grow yes uh, life span that living things are living up to a certain age and after that they are all have to die one day or the other living things need food without food we cannot survive then living things feel the changes around them that all the animals they are moving from one place to another animals have the sense organ like us we human beings also have the sense organ five sense organs which helps us to feel the changes around us okay then uh, reproduction reproduction means what the process by which the living things reproduce of their own kind uh, our parents they give birth to us that means what our parents have also reproduced our mothers have reproduced us okay right then we in chapter number 2 we have talked about the human body human body means our own body how many different different uh, how many different different organ systems are present organs are present inside our body that also that, that also we have understood right we have talked about the internal organs and external organs internal organs which are present inside our body which we cannot see which are present inside our body like heart uh, heart lungs kidney these all are what internal organs okay external organs which are seen outside like ear okay nose eyes skin these all are what external organs of our body right different different types of uh, different different types of organ systems are present in our, in our body so we have learned few in this chapter and uh, later on we'll be learning more and more okay internal organs are what brain heart stomach intestine kidney liver bones these all are what internal organs now we'll talk about respiratory system respiratory system means what which helps us in breathing all the organs which helps us in breathing is known as respiratory system like nose okay it is helping us in breathing in and breathing out o uh, sorry breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide with the help of our nose then windpipe which does the work when the nose takes the oxygen in the windpipe is uh, helping the oxygen to get through the body and it passes through all the parts of our body from there then lungs from the windpipe it goes to the lungs from the lungs to all the parts of our body right okay we'll talk about deep breathing deep breathing means what taking more of oxygen and giving out more of carbon dioxide which is helpful for our body and how we can do this we can do this with the help of your yoga and meditations all right then we have talked about what air pollution pollution means what the addition of harmful substances into our environment by our own human beings and making our environment dirty and unsafe for our self this is known as 
pollution okay and pollutant means what any harmful substance that we are adding to the environment those are known as pollutant causes of air pollution causes of air pollution what smoke when we burn the fire smokes are present over there that smokes are also the causes of air pollution harmful gases and chemicals from release from the vehicles vehicles when we uh, start the vehicle bike or a car the smokes are coming out or the harmful or the chemicals are released from them from the gases these are also the causes of air pollution next we talk about the smoke that is released from the solid waste such as garbage rubber tires crackers and the woods when we burn any gases uh, when you burn any uh, materials like rubber garbage or crackers or wood the smokes which are present that also are the causes of air pollution all right now harmful effects of air pollution what are the effects of air pollution it affects our breathing okay it can lead to respiratory disease such as asthma and lung cancer asthma and lung cancer next we can talk about it causes breathing problem irritation dizziness wateriness in the eyes okay and irritation in throat and sore also in the nose next we talk about it can harm the plants crops and even monuments and buildings now this air pollution what they can do they can cause the harm to the plants to the crops even to the monuments and also the buildings right reducing air pollution how we can reduce this air pollution number 1 by planting more of plants trees okay next avoid you uh, burning any waste products avoid burning any do not burn only dispose them okay always dispose garbage in responsible manner do not burn them burning will create smoke smoke will cause air pollution right then use bicycles or public transport such as um as much as possible use eco friendly technique eco friendly products okay like use bicycles like that okay now we will come to the third chapter that is animals birds animals grouped as birds birds have wings and most birds can fly all the birds have two feet these are the features of the birds okay birds do not have teeth and the birds body and the wings are covered with different types of feathers okay now beaks of the birds beak what is the need what is the need of beak in the birds beak works as a teeth they catch uh the bird uses its beak to catch and eat food it also uses it to feed it young ones to build a nest and to clean itself whenever they are dirty they can clean their body with the help of their beak with the help of their beak they make their nest with the help of their beak they catch the food they eat the food they break the food okay also they feed their young ones or their babies all right <coughs> there are different different types of beaks present in the birds number one short long and hard beak like we can see in the sparrows and pigeon second one is strong sharp and hooked beak like the beaks present on vulture eagle parrot etc right third one we have long pointed and chisel shaped beak in order to make the holes in the tree trunk <coughs> broad and flat beak like the water birds like duck and geese okay they have a broad and flat beak next one we have long a broad long and sharp edge beak because they are the fish eating bird when they eat they have to bite them so in order to that they have a very sharp edged beak all right next one is long and pointed beak like bee hummingbird and sunbird they have the long and pointed beak why to suck the nectar from the flowers all right next we talk about the feet of bird feet they have two feet four toes each now birds like crow parrot they have a perching bird which helps them <coughs> which helps them to climb on the branches and twigs easily and lightly all right next we have water birds water birds like pelicans and duck they have webbed feet okay 
pelicans and uh, duck they have the webbed feet to swim in the waters next are the climbing birds climbing birds uh, such as woodpecker they can climb the tree trunks and their feet have two pointing two toes pointing upward forward and two toes pointing backward all right next we have scratching bird the bird which we have in our house that is hen we always see them scratching the ground digging the ground and eating the food like insects and uh, some insects right then we have wading birds wading birds such as herons and cranes they walk to the shallow water using their long legs they have a long leg okay that's why they are uh, known as wading birds okay then we have flesh eating birds birds like eagles and owls they have a very sharp claws called talons which helps them to pick the small animals such as rats and mice all right then there are different types of feathers found in the birds there are three different types of feathers found in the birds number one is down feather they are located just in the bird's skin okay then we have the body feather which covers the whole part of the body okay and next is the flight feather which are present on the wings and the tail which helps them to change the directions when they are flying all right birds fly in two different methods one is up stroke and one is down stroke up stroke means their wings will be up and when they are coming down their wings will be coming down and down that is known as up stroke and down stroke okay you can see the picture over here this is up stroke means so see the wings are going up up and up right now down stroke the wings is coming down down and down all right there are two movements in the birds one is up stroke and another one is down stroke right okay now the flightless birds flightless means the birds which cannot fly they are also known as the running bird like emu and ostrich these are the flightless birds okay they are the flightless birds which do not fly but they run very fast <coughs> Next we talk about the nest of birds. Nest is what? Nest is the home of the birds. Nest birds build the nest using the leaves, straw, twig, wool, cotton and threads. Birds take care to build the nest in places safe from danger and also from the bad weather. Okay? First one we will uh, talk about tailor bird. Tailor bird though by the word tailor it says that that it will sew the leaves and make its nest next we have weaver bird weaver bird what they do with the help of these twigs grass and leaves they build the nest okay and the nest has one small opening from where they can get in and come out from that nest next we talk about woodpecker woodpecker we know that it breaks the, makes the holes in the tree trunks and makes his nest there all right Next we can talk about penguins. Penguins are found on the uh, ocean means colder region where we find the snows and pebbles, stones and pebbles. So they make their nest there. They are very difficult to find the twigs, leaves and all uh, uh, twigs, grasses. So what they do? They collect the stones and pebbles to build their nest. Right? Next we see sparrows and bulbuls and hummingbird they make a cup shaped nest which are very commonly seen in our cities okay they make a cup shaped nest where they can lay eggs they can stay and make their uh, home safety right we'll talk about some special features of the birds special features of the birds like ostrich and emu they are the flightless birds ostrich is the largest bird in the world and also ostrich egg is the largest egg in the world okay bee hummingbird it is the smallest bird in the world and also cuckoo does not build its own nest when a, when they uh, feel like to give uh, lay egg they go to the other nest and they lay egg okay parrots they imitate the voice and also talk with us this is also one of the special feature in the birds <clears throat> pigeons they move from one place to another very far far okay they can go very far 
pigeons mostly stay near home you know uh, human homes usually in nooks and corners of the roofs now we can see the nest of the pigeons where in our home roof rooftops roofs right <coughs> Next, we talk about uh, caring for birds and animals. Caring for birds and animals. Do not heed the birds. Okay, birds like animals. Birds also need to be looked after, especially during the hot summer months. Placing bird baths in open places around the houses and gardens are one of the way of helping the thirsty bird. Bird bath means what? In a container, you keep some water. The birds, when they are, uh, when they will be coming in where from the very hot uh, weather, a very summer hot condition, what they can do? They can come and dip themselves, take bath, drink water, and quench their thirst. All right. This is known as bird bath. Then another thing is that bird feeders in a small container keep some grains as a food for the birds, for the hungry birds. Okay. All the birds. They are not always eating. Some birds are in, always searching the food, but they are unable to uh, search the food. So what happens? They are remaining hungry. So in order to help these birds, what we can do in a small container, we can keep some food or the nuts in the open place where the birds can come, eat, and then right. <coughs> Now. You should take care of your pets in the following ways. When we keep our pets, we have to take care of them, right? So how we will uh, take care of them? Number one, feed your pet regularly. Number two, you should clean and bath your pet. Okay. Number three, keep their homes clean wherever they are staying. Keep their homes clean and do not be cruel to animals. Do not beat them. Always love them. Okay. And whenever they are sick, what you have to do? You have to take them to the veterinary doctors. Veterinary. All right. So by this, we have completed our revision. Also, hope you understood it very properly, and go through the videos and the books, chapters properly, and prepare yourself for your test.